It's a sign of the apocalypse, people. I made a piece of furniture. Anyway, now that I can start this. <laughs> On today's episode of Furniture Messiah, <laughs> um, I'm making a privacy screen. <laughs> Utilizing all kinds of shit, honestly. All kinds of leftover stuff from other projects. The board is actually some leftover wood from um, from when I did the Wayne's coat in the coffee shop. I had some extra plywood. Obviously, I didn't use the whole sheet. And I made this for myself, <laughs> but I'm actually working on. I'm working on a piece of plywood with a similar similar idea to this for the coffee shop since since I used the wood that technically they paid for, you know. So I replaced it. And I'm gonna I still have another another piece or two. Uh see what they think of the of the one of I'm working on right right now. I'm gonna probably be drawing as as this is set up. You'll notice that the background noise does not match what's happening here. Sounds like sounds like birds. I'm trying to add a lot more bird noise. These are chickens. Anyway. I'm prepping this board to draw on it. <laughs> I have I have those those therapy videos. Yeah. Well, the drawings I'm gonna put one of those on this board. And I have another larger one. But mostly I'm just gonna show the process of this board. I think I have like, there was a lot of drawing footage. Like, no lie, there was like seven hours. Um, no, you know, I'm not gonna do that shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyway, so I chopped out quite a bit. We're missing a lot of portions in terms of drawing content. But that's fine, because what the fuck would you want to see the whole thing? I showed most of the process of one board, the skinny one. And I think I think that, that'll, that'll do it, you know, as we go. The For drawing on any surface, wooden especially... You really want to sand it well, nice and flat. You should go through like the the range of. Um, it'll give you finer pen work too. The the better you sand the board. If you ever plan on drawing on one of these, I would just advice if you decide, oh, this is kind of a cool idea. I, mean, I could. I mean, plywood's relatively. Ch this is like that one that I'm working on is. I think it was like an eighth of an inch thick, so it's not real thin, you know, it's uh, not heavy at all. You can hang it up on your wall, you know, paneling. If you're doing a studio, if you put like some gaps in the back, like air gaps, this is pretty good at absorbing sound um, as a material would in general. It's good for sound. I really want to do a wood ceiling. I'm going to paint my ceiling black this weekend. <laughs> my coworker, well, one, I had two differing opinions. And I had already kind of uh, made up my mind on painting it black. Like, fuck it. Do it different. And. One coworker kind of knew she was going to be like, eh. And the other one was like a surprise. He was like, I think it'll help um, open up the room. And I was like, that's what I thought too. I was like, I believe you. Because <laughs> it was my initial thought. We're going to find out. I'm like, hard to go back from on the real though. Paint it black. It's hard to go back from black you know once you go black you never go back that's what they'll say oh but it's only because it's a like a darker color so it's hard 
to if you want to go a lighter shade because right now the ceiling is fucking white <laughs> which i'm like boring <laughs> i gotta space this up a little bit oh <laughs> i'm gonna paint this shit black and then i'll panel it with wood yeah be real homey and shit actually the room i had growing up was all wood the whole room was wood i thought it was the greatest thing ever it's like I lived in a library. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, man. Yeah, I like that room. And then right before I moved out, I decided I'll take out the carpet and fucking redo the wood floor. And I only got to enjoy it for like less, like not even like a few months maybe. And then I left. <laughs> Damn. I'm like, should have done that sooner. It was so easy to refinish the floor. I don't know. I haven't done the ones in my house. I've been waiting for the right stain to come along, and now I think I found it. So I think I can complete that project. TBD, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll get there. I've got like a lot of plans here, people. Most importantly, this privacy screen, because. Well, I have this drum set, right? I'm gonna move it into my room because <laughs> that makes sense then I could play it <laughs> anyway so I don't really want people to see a drum set from the street because my, my room face is zeroed you can look into it from the street and you can see me changing occasionally because I give no fucks I treat it like a locker room. No. Don't come. Shit. I've said too much. Oh, no. no just kidding. <laughs> That's what the privacy screen's for, people. Now you can't fucking see me. Ha! I'll be behind whatever the fuck I'm about to draw. You will find out. First, we're going to talk about surface tension. No. Um, I don't I got lost in my brain. Anyway, got to move that drum set in here. So I need a privacy screen so that people can't see my shit. I don't want people to see stuff that's desirable you know what i mean because i don't really want anyone to break in here for one this poses the possibility that i may have to kill you and i don't really want to do that <laughs> it's messy okay <laughs> i've dealt with quite a few bodies i buried one in my backyard like a few of them so i know what it's like <laughs> I don't want to bury a bigger one. <laughs> Damn, that's a big fucking hole. Okay, I already had to bury a fucking like hundred and something pound dog. That was a large hole. I did not make it deep enough. But it worked. You, nobody dug him up. We paid our respects. <laughs> there was there was no... Damn, you can hear the trash truck in the background, eh? Look at that. He's getting it. <laughs> Man, I shove hella shit in the trash can. <laughs> oh damn, I'm talking about it on there too. But yeah, I'm getting it. Oh fuck, they get shoved in like some. Oh, the fucking rugs. Got rid of the rugs in my living room. They were, they were whatever rugs. I probably could have put it in the doghouse or something. I put something in there already. Nah. Fuck that. I just threw it away. You can't save everything. Moral of the story, there's a lot of shit in this world. We can't save it all. But I'll try my darndest to save a few things. You know what I mean? Like this wood. <laughs> save the wood. A tree died for me to sit on my floor and draw on a piece of wood. A tree died for me to, I think the next one is me sitting on my floor. No, I, for me to sit on a swing chair and draw shit. Are these out of order? I think they might be out of order, people. But as you can see, an octopus. You know, I fucked up. 
Mother's Day just came and went. <laughs> <laughs> I should have made an octopus. Octopus is always a good, good thing to give somebody as a gift. I don't know. It resonates with us. I think they're the people of the sea, right? Is that what it is? People of the sea is an octopus. Eh, maybe nobody wants to think about it like that. Because they're delicious. Like, honestly, I love some grilled octopus. I can't lie. Oh, my God. So good. Uh, octopus. Things, you know, if they weren't delicious, we wouldn't have so many issues, would we? But it's that animal and it's got to eat. Oh, you know what I was going to talk about? Because... As you can tell, most of my drawings are um, patterns. They're patterns. I don't, I always have this desire when I started drawing to make an S. I don't know why. I just like the way an S looks. What is that about? Does anybody else have that? I don't even have any S's. In, oh, I have one. Never mind. I have one S in my name. Well, well, if you think about furniture, I has got two S's. Okay. That's my name on here. Um, but what do you want to call it? I really do like, I like spheres. I really like eyeballs, mostly because everybody's eyes are different. I like to look into people's eyes. Um, I thought it was like, like a sign of respect that I like paying attention, but. Lately, people have been telling me it's, like, a way of flirting. I had no fucking clue. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Based on all your logic, I must be a flirty bitch. <laughs> damn. But anyway. So a sphere. A circle. Right? Eyeball. Anyway. I found this book at Barnes & Noble. You know what I like about Barnes & Noble? They always have that, that uh, section where it's, like, there's like a bunch of random shit for like five dollars or like it's cheaper there's like a sale i don't know I got a cookbook there the cookbook i bought it for less than what it's worth now <laughs> well no mine's probably not worth anything it's all fucked up we've had to rebound it with string because it's fallen completely apart we use it quite often it's that America's Test Kitchen cooking for two. And I think it's like 25 bucks or something. I think I got it for like 15. That was a good one. For sure. Damn, the desserts though. On the real. <laughs> I haven't made them all, but I was going through it like, oh shit. I need to revisit this book for dessert. But uh, it has a drunken noodle recipe that is the bomb drunken noodles the chili beans and that one's really good uh oh they have a, a pizza bread <laughs> it's like a focaccia it's a skillet bread you literally just like mix everything in one bowl and then pour it into a hot skillet and then put it in the oven so easy <laughs> oh, i like it it has like a time breakdown of how long things will take and how many well yeah yeah I mean, most cookbooks do, but I like that one. Because it's like a uh, difficulty level. You can switch through it or... I don't know. I like cookbooks. Fuck. Anyway, I'm off topic because I was going to talk about this other one. It's called Designer. I think. Designer, maybe. I don't know. Nah, maybe. Technical Secrets of the Traditional Visual Arts. <laughs> and I just kind of flip to whatever the fuck page sometimes because I don't know I'm like maybe if I see the shape and the the um, pattern I'll just like it'll just go into my brain magically and then I'll draw it out at some point when I'm kind of stuck you know because sometimes when I'm doing a drawing I'm looking at it and I'm seeing I'll see the whole thing and then I'll see things within the thing <laughs> and I kind of uh, get distracted on that and lose track of the bigger picture I'll start to like I'll start to get way too detailed sometimes I don't know 
it's just these are kind of uh i guess uh, a visual representation of what it's like to be in my brain uh, my brain on drugs <laughs> nah usually i'm sober when i do them <laughs> and by sober i mean i'm not high because that's pretty much all i do people all i do really is get high that's it everybody thinks i'm doing some wild shit i mean occasionally i do mushrooms but you gotta take breaks <laughs> But anyway, back to these spheres. I thought it was interesting. Oh, a sphere is a shape where it has the least amount of surface area for the volume within, is what it says in this book, which makes sense to me. But I like the idea of it was a visual, it's a visual representation of, uh, of like gravity and surface tension oh uh, um a water droplet as it you know as it drops and turns into a sphere it's just the tension on the surface of the water and gravity pulling it down and it makes it into a circle and that's why i like well you know like planets and all s spherical, mostly because of gravity. I mean, <laughs> the gravity each one because it's b b the way it bends space time, right? It's a fabric. I keep saying this. That is makes m the most sense to me in terms of being able to s visualize it. But yeah, I just thought that was thought it was kind of interesting. I don't know why the fuck. Ooh, this is cool. So, my bad. <laughs> anyway, I forgot about this video that I was actually supposed to be looking at. <clears throat> I decided to stain the drawing. That gray stain is actually a rubbing stain. So I'm, I'm using it incorrectly, but I was trying to make it dark in those spots. It has, like, a lot less control, I think, than the other one. That, that, um, brown stain, I think. They're both water-based. Yeah, they're both water-based. Which I think is probably nicer in terms of of using it like this as like a coloring <laughs> tone, you know, um, the oil kind of smears more, which is nice because it, you get more, um, spread with a, like an oil, can you get the oil base now? I don't know, there's so many weird fucking rules in California for, it's always, um, chemicals. The chemicals, they're gonna come and they're gonna kill you. You're gonna die. <laughs> Everything in excess will fucking kill you, believe me. <laughs> if you drink too much water, you will die. <laughs> You'll drown yourself. It's happened to people. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. I just find it... Whenever I find something so ridiculous... I just think more people have to think it's fucking ridiculous. I don't know. I'm like, that's just wild. Like, who's that thirsty? <laughs> I need. Speaking of speaking of being thirsty, I need some water. I like how planes are always fucking flying over every time I'm doing these things. You know. What? I really like the way the panel turned out, though. Yeah. <sighs> We're tired. I don't know. I've been waiting so long to do these. Been waiting till they're late. It's late. 
Till they're late. <laughs> I need some tea. Oh, I'm supposed to be drawing. I really wanted to do uh, a therapy about driving. I felt like real aggressive lately. Maybe I shouldn't talk about it because I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> I was supposed to be talking about this. Don't get sidetracked. Looks cool though. It was too long. I was, um, the pieces I used to frame the panels, they are reused from a failed trellis attempt. Um, that's like, and the rebar is just some pieces that extras from when I did the concrete, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that is also going to be my frame. You can see how I frame this in here. The, the pieces from the trellis are, they're like, it's a, what, like a two by two, but it's got a slot in it, and then you slide in that, usually get that uh cross sh um it's like cross pattern like a rubbery plastic type of material a for a trellis it's just like just frame that into a box and hang it up <laughs> i kind of did it different yeah, it was kind of fucked up so i changed it out for a bed frame that works a lot better it was for my passion flower it's it's now smaller than it was before, so I don't know how much it likes the difference. But it'll get used to it. Things resilient. Anyway, the pieces that I used for my legs to... It's basically like holding my frame together at the base. As the horizontal and the vertical come together. Is uh, bed frame legs. <laughs> and I I beat the tabs flat so that I could slot it's the perfect fucking size for the the trellis wood that I'm going to use I didn't show that because they were already pretty much the same size but see those those tabs are they're bent one direction I need to bend them flat so that I can put that wood in there. Yeah. So I can put the the wood it gotta it's gotta go in that slot. And then I can put a screw to that hole right there. Perfect hole. Look at that. Wow, hole right there. I could put a bolt in that bitch. I didn't because what a waste of a bolt. <laughs> I only needed like two screws. Mm. I like the, the chicken noises sped up. I guess I have to pay attention now. Um, anyway. And then the, yeah, what the... Uh, damn. What's happening? Torches are fantastic. <laughs> I've got to say, I almost tried to burn down my garage <laughs> using this torch. Well... I wasn't using it at the time, technically. It's just that when you when you put the brass fittings on the on the tanks, most of the time you don't get like a completely tight seal, and you really want to. I probably could have tightened it, people. I fucked up. But anyway, I was grinding, and the sparks from the grinder hit the acetylene tank and it was leaking a little bit so it caught on fire now it was regulated so the amount of gas shouldn't have been a lot but i just turned that tank off hella fast <laughs> i was like what <laughs> damn we almost died they don't nobody knows nobody knows it's okay the quick thinking Woo. Quick, I was on my toes. I was like, whoa, shit, fuck. I think that's later. 
I think it's on video, but you can't see it because it's off screen. <laughs> Perfection. Yes. <sighs> anyway. Let's light that shit back up, eh? I'm all excited. Fun to use. I can't wait to make that copter puss. Copter. Octopus. Because I'm gonna use that again. You like how this is why it's nice to have this railroad tie right here, because I can just fucking put the torch into it and it's fine. Nothing gonna happen. That shit thick. Oh, I slowed it down for you. So you can see it, because this was the good one. I got it hot. It's always better when you get it real hot. Red hot is best, and it's like butter. You've probably seen them shows. Right? <laughs> what the fuck? Don't mind me, I'm just being weird. I'm listening to James Brown, y'all. Stay on the scene. Like a sex machine. Mm. Sorry. I'm gonna be beat that bitch into submission right here. I'm gonna take that. Yeah. Oh, that look good. Mm. <laughs> you can hear the excitement in my voice. Turn the torch off. <clears throat> anyway. So. Them's. Like, a set, the, those pieces are going to be essentially a, um, it's like, it's the brace for the frame, as well as the leg. I'm going to attach a leg to give it some height, you know, gotta give it some nice legs. <laughs> Not enough to see under it, though, just, just enough to see feet. Yeah. I don't know what that means. You'll know what it means here soon. This flat bar. So I went and collected some metal from from my dad's work. He works in a it's like a um it's a processor. A processing plant. So there's usually like a lot of shit gets damaged by forklift drivers running into shit. Um or just changes in general, changing equipment. Uh, <laughs> them robots is crazy, y'all. They had to build a cage for their robot. <laughs> oh, fuck. So it started throwing boxes of 50, 50 pound boxes, just whipping them around, yo. The robot arm, imagine. And decapitate your ass. They had to build a cage for it so that it wouldn't hurt anybody. <laughs> Case went high at haywire again. Um, these bars are almost the exact width of that trellis frame piece. I know this whole thing was very magical to me. I was like, wow, this is all coming together all of a sudden. Probably because I waited so fucking long to do anything. <laughs> it's like, I'll bless you with, with some ease of... Ah, I love the way it turned out, though. I can't, I can't lie. you find out. you find out. But I use those. I just set the rebar on top. And then, um... Like, measured the distance to give it the overhang so that it would fit to the edge of that trellis piece. And the rebar is the exact same width as the notch in the wood. And so I just friggin' slotted that right in there. I noticed this as I was collecting pieces for it all beforehand, so I probably should have. Well, you'll see it come together. Just. So strange, so strange how these things work out. It's really hard to do it all at once. I feel like I collect pieces for these things as I go. 
It's like a little here, a little there. And then it becomes one all together now. All together now. <clears throat> Stacking chips, they say. I'm just saying. I'm just kidding. I don't know what's happening. All I see is feet. Oh. I better measuring. Sometimes it takes me a while to measure things because I really don't want to fuck it up. <laughs> Man, measure twice, cut once. But for me, like measure three or four times, you know, just to be sure. Because I do some dumb shit sometimes, people. Sometimes. I'm wearing robot socks as I talk about fucking stupid shit robots do. Gotta watch out for them. You know what's weird? Spent like billions of motherfucking dollars to make an ostrich robot. I forgot what the fuck the company is. It Boston Dynamics. It picks up like one box or two boxes at a time. I don't know if they know that a forklift it exists, but if you have a pallet, <laughs> you can put like a fuck ton of boxes on that motherfucker and move the whole goddamn thing. Yo, I don't know if you've seen them. I don't know if they've seen them, but I think it beats your robot by, like, a lot. How much money do you spend on that fucking ostrich, y'all? Sorry. Sorry. Got a little wild there. Got a little wild there. It's the animal in me. It's tired. Oh, the sound's back. Anyway, I think it's because I'm a weld soon. Which, more interessante, I would say. Than my rant about robots, though. I think it's all bullshit. And you know how you really know it's bullshit? I found this out today. I'm sitting in front of the freaking printer at work. And this shit's taking forever. Forever. And I just thought about, you know how many people use printers? How many printers there are? And this still is a piece of shit. I don't think there's gonna be good robots. <laughs> If we can't even make fucking printers, and we use them all the time, you're gonna be like, really? Really? Sorry. Maybe this is cynical of me. Somebody's gonna be like, so dumb, so stupid. It's like she doesn't even know what's happening with the robot, robots right now. Oh my god. <laughs> I've seen them robot dogs. That's pretty cool. Yo. I'm worried more about, like, the AI with the robots. Because AI retarded. And robots are pretty retarded, too, I gotta say. If the ostrich is showing anything, can't even go upstairs. I think I've said that before. Damn, I like the way that looks. That is a frame piece. And I only drilled... Well, you'll see. I only drilled one hole into it. It was like... It's held up by one screw. <laughs> held in there with one screw. So solid. It made it so solid. So wild. I love the things you can do with metal. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever the fuck you want. And I've been saying it's magic. I don't know if I've said why I think it's magic. But it's it's the manipulation of the elements. Right? use fire on my side to manipulate something that's much stronger than me. Makes you think about them pyramids though. And them giant granite blocks. Isn't it? Isn't it granite blocks? Are they granite? What are they made out of? Limestone. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> I gotta look at this. I don't know what that shit's made of. Do you know Ayo, I'm in architecture, but if you knew the reason why, <laughs> you'd be like, oh, this bitch retarded. I just go with the wind, wherever, wherever the wind takes me, I'll just, wee, blow away. Anyway, yes, I only screwed one hole each side. Mm. Damn. Three tech welds. Each side. 
just bzz, bzz, bzz. I mean, you gotta make them good though. You know, you gotta see that that you that nice horseshoe f shape as that melted metal goes to the other piece of melted metal. You gotta melt them together. You know what I mean? Make them into one. Make them into one piece of metal. I got two pieces of metal, but I can make it into one piece of metal. With this <laughs> electrode, whatever thing, majig. <laughs> I don't know really how it works, y'all. I didn't pay attention in physics. <laughs> uh, see them frame pieces? Nice U shape. And then just, uh. Smack that on there. I think I took a hammer to it. Can't lie. I just drilled it. One screw each side. Boop. Boop. Mm. Flip it over. Slide that panel down. Mm. Beautiful. Then I had to get the legs right. So the cool thing about the bed frame shape of them them feet them feets it's got it's got like a uh, it's got like a platform right next to where those tabs are i'm going to sl i slide it onto that piece of wood and you see how that bar is going across those are just sitting on those tabs i made out of the flat bar that i welded onto the rebar so, what I do, I'm pretty sure I just, oh, you know, I think I might have, did I weld it while I was on there and then take it all off as one piece? You don't get to know. <laughs> <laughs> we lost that information somewhere. But look at it. And I use a little angle iron at the bottom. Yes, there you go, there's a... You should just pause right there if you really want to know. Rebar, angle iron, flat bar, rebar. That's that bed frame piece. Here's some hinges that I found. Well, I got them at a yard sale. I think they came with a bunch of other shit. But they fit perfect. Ah. No one will be able to see me. Ah. I've already been hanging clothes on it and stuff. I've been using it to change. But... That is it, yo. Uh, privacy screen. Du -du 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 -du